how to connect api with wordpress hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today i will be showing you how you can connect any kind of api to your wordpress platform or website so let's get into it now to connect any kind of open api that you have first off you actually have to go on ahead and install a plugin now this is a free plugin so all you have to do is click on plugins on the bottom left once you do that click on add new and just search for wp get api so just search for this and this is the extension or plugin that you're going to use just click on install now once you click on install now just click on activate and now you will be able to see it in your installed plugins so you can just click on api setup and now you will see the API on the left side of your toolbar. So once you have your plugin added, you can start by adding your plugin to your WordPress site. Now, the first thing that you want to do is name your plugin. So the name of the API that you're adding, let's say I'm just adding quotes, then you have the unique ID. So this is something to make sure that you are able to link it properly like this. Now, after that, you have to enter the URL. So what the base URL basically means is that it is going to be the URL of your API. So you guys can see this is like our little, you know, platform or this is the platform I'm getting my random API from. There are multiple different options you can choose from. We have search authors, we have response, you know, we have multiple different search quotes. We have random codes. I'm going to go add random code so i'm just going to find that over here so get random code so i'm just going to copy this just like that and then i'm going to go back into wordpress click on this and click on add new api now once your api has been added so you just want to move it like this and once you have added your api we're just going to make sure it is added properly so just going back to our API page, I'm just going to copy this API server link and then we're going to go back into WordPress and we can just add it as it is. So I've just copied that and added it over here. Now you're going to click on save. Once you click on save, you will see this on the top. You will be able to see your code or the API name that you entered. So once you can see your API name, you have the endpoint. So how do you actually want your entire api to appear on your show so now what you have to do is you have to add the base url of the api and now we're going to go back into our api section and you have multiple different api references so i want to add the random code so we have this now this is our endpoint screen and we want to start adding our unique names or you know all the information so First off, we're going to copy the unique name or just add it like so. So this is going to be unique to whatever you want it. Now, after that, you have the endpoint and this says the get method. So you have to make sure that according to what it says uh, on your API website that you get it from the same method. So you are going to uh, go on ahead and copy the endpoint and then you can paste it over here. Now, after that, you will be able to also see a response string. But now the other fields like, you know, the cache team, the query string, these are not required for the get method. Now, what you're going to do is you can just leave, you know, all of these uh, items as they are. Just make sure you're adding the correct endpoints from the API website URL that you are copying from. So now what you want to do is once you have completed the information, you want to click on save. Now it will give you a endpoint and it will give you a base URL and the short code and your data might actually look very odd and you actually have to go on ahead and you can use the testing endpoint method to test your endpoint as well. Now uh, I'm just going to click on test endpoint and now you guys will be able to see your data output. So our data output might look super weird to you right now because we have it set to JSON string format, but that is exactly what the API returns. So for now, you just leave it as it is and you can just go on up and copy your short code. So we're just going to copy our short code from over here. And now at the top of the endpoint, you will see a template tag and a short code. So 
you have you know multiple different result formats you can choose php but that depends on the kind of api that you have but you want to go back into your endpoint settings and you want to change it to the php array data and without modifying the rest of your theme files you just want to go on ahead and add endpoint or save it and then you want to click on test endpoint and now your data output has been returned from the api and this is what it's going to look like now all children and artists the problem is how we remain an artist once he grows up so now you can see that that our output is uh, looking a lot better now we can just click on our site and enter our short code over there so that's like a very easy way to do it so i have copied the short code previously and i'm going to go into my pages i'm going to click on add new page and i can click on block on the right side of my screen and i can just on the top left i'm going to click on over here then from here i'm going to search for short code so you can enter your short code block over here and then you're going to paste the api short code block and you can click on publish and click on publishing like this you can click on view page and we are going to change this back to json string because our result format is not being able to uh, currently process our php array data set so i'm going to go back into my setup go into codes and change it back into json string click on save and now i can go back into my pages like this so once i'm in pages i can click on view and now you can obviously edit your short code and uh, edit the appearance to do that. Uh, you have to get rid of the function and you will have to echo your content key. And that can be a little difficult, but um, this is array data and you can work with it a lot easier now. And you can just go on ahead and um, successfully uh, have your output presented to your WordPress website. So it can seem a little complicated at first, but it's really not that difficult. Once you have added your API and you have your code added, you can go ahead and go into codes. And once you do that, you can also encode the body. So you can click on JSON encode, click on save, and then we can click on test endpoint and see what our data output is currently looking like. And now you can even click on documentation to get further help in how you want to format your specific API. Depending on the type of API, you're going to have to, um, you know, change it differently depending on the api that you're copying from so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with connecting your own apis with your wordpress site make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions or queries leave those in the comment box down below and i will catch you guys in the next video